time to see if I can catch some bullheads with some chicken liver. I normally don't fish with chicken liver. I like using cut bait, like cut skipjack, cut bluegill. But in this case, I'm going to give chicken liver a try. And I'm at a new spot here that I've known about for a while. A buddy of mine who I've fished with before who runs the Top Knox Fishing Channel, he told me to keep it simple and just use chicken liver. So that's what I'm doing tonight. And I'm using just a basic slip sinker rig, which is what I use on practically everything. I'm not using a sinker slide, I'm using a no roll sinker with a bead, a swivel, a leader line, and a hook. A one knot Team Catfish double action circle hook. And I'm going to try to do this without nylons or anything else, just liver on a hook. I do have to be a little bit careful here. I got an open wound on my thumb. I hit my thumb with a hole saw while working on my big bait tank, which I will make a video of that sometime in the future once everything's together and working right. So be sure to be subscribed to my channel. You never know what my next video will be. This lever should work out pretty good. It's really fresh and it's staying on the hook really well. Now let's see if I can catch a bullhead tonight. Bite on the right one. That was so quick, it probably stole the liver. Could be just minnows. Yeah, probably minnows. And I set the hook a little bit too hard on this hook. You can set the hook on these, but it has to be a slow sweep. Get excited and set the hook too fast. Lose all the litter. Put a bigger gob on here. That was pretty quick, so maybe that's a good sign. We're back at it, hitting that right pole again. It's gotta be something really small. I'm just gonna leave it in there and see if it hooks itself. When you're dealing with a situation like this where you've got a creek and you got really loose bait like liver, you need to check it often. I could take a bet that the right one here doesn't have any bait on it. Let's find out. Yep, no bait. Now nothing has touched this one at all but I'm probably going to check it anyway after I get this one back out. And there's no real good way to hook chicken liver. I'm trying to get it in gristle, and if you don't have gristle, well, good luck. And I always bring a towel 
or a washcloth or something to wipe your hands with. No bait on this one either. Another nice chunk of liver. Finally, a bullhead. Pretty big one, too. And like they usually do, swallowed the hook. Well, they don't always swallow the hook. I've been lucky. This is the first one that swallowed the hook in a long time. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the hook out, but I do have plenty of extras. Little yellow bullhead. Nice one. Now to get water in my bucket. Well, that's good. Successfully caught a bullhead. I'll see if I can catch another one. Now I've switched a braid on my main line. I think this is 15 pound braid on these Akuma Seamar bait runners. And I'm using 12 pound big game as my leader line monofilament. That hook and this hook that's in the fish had good snells on them. I'm going to be lazy on this one and just use a polymer knot. The straight shank on the hook allows me to use a polymer knot. I lose some of the trigger action, but it's still going to be there enough to hook the fish. I'd say the trigger action on a polymer knot on one of these hooks is as good as a snelled hook with a bent eye which a lot of different brands have. Now I'd show you exactly how these knots are tied but this is really thin line that you just can't see on a GoPro. Maybe if I get a better camera sometime in the future I'll do some knots videos. There's also a ton of other YouTube videos that show you these knots. Probably going to be feeding this fish more than catching them tonight, too. Four catching sticks. Another one. Did you swallow the hook? <laughs> yep. Man. I'm going to go through a few hooks tonight. Unless I can get this out of them. Yep. Gonna have to get yet another hook. Nice yellow bullhead. Keep catching them on the right one too. Maybe I should have put a longer leader on here. Then I could just keep cutting it and putting new hooks on it. Whenever I'm using cut bait, they don't seem to swallow the hook. So I guess it's just the liver. They like it so much that they just chomp down on it. Wish I had some pre-rigged in a rig wrap as well. That'd make this a lot easier. I need to do a bunch of big hooks and small hooks in my rig wraps but with my thumb the way it is it makes it a little bit difficult to do a straw snell on a bunch of hooks which is my favorite type of snell guess i'll leave my little akuma box out that came with this akuma tackle bag i bought i think it's the medium size one they're old style not a nomad
And that is definitely a bigger piece of liver there. And let's check this other rod. There's a snag down there. Well, there's the first snag of the night. I think there's a big tree. And there goes another hook. Let's see if I can avoid that tree. Two bullheads in the bucket. I'll be honest with you guys, I really don't like using the liver. It is not my go-to bait. I'd rather use cut bait. Whatever's in the water works the best. That's why you don't see many liver videos on my channel. Maybe I got him this time. Oh, a little bitty one. <laughs> they make good bait too. I'm catching these guys to use as flathead bait in the future. I think this is the smallest bullhead I've caught in the past couple of years. Little yellow bullhead. I'm going to keep him. I might not fish with that one. I might try to grow it out in my tote. Since I got liver left on this hook, I'm going to put it back out there. And just like that, like a light switch, everything has turned off. I've been sitting here, I don't know, 40 minutes now, 50 minutes, almost an hour. Not a single bite. Makes me wonder if I don't have any bait out there. If I do have bait, then for whatever reason, the bullheads and whatever else is in the water decided to stop eating. So let's see. What's on the line? Yep, got liver. So they have uh, left the area or decided they're not hungry anymore. This gives me an opportunity to head home. Got two bullheads. That's enough to play with. I want to thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. And if you'd like to help out my channel, hit that thumbs up, especially if you like this video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.